Good evening, good day. Uh, this is Dr. Juan Aviles once again recording for uh, topics that are sensitive to genetic genealogy. And today I'll be talking about privacy concerns for gen genealogy websites, specifically GenMatch, Ancestry, 23andMe, MyHeritage, Living DNA, and Family Tree DNA. Now today's presentation is going to be somewhat different. Normally I have uh, not too much words per slide and I use a lot of pictures, try to uh, avoid wordy topics uh, on the slides, but uh, I'm mostly going to have slides with a lot of words. Uh, I encourage viewers to pause uh, uh, during the presentation to read the slides because uh, they have information that I'm not going to read out. I might just summarize. So just want to make you aware of that. So if you go to my heritage and you look at their uh, uh, agreement, they have a statement that I think holds true for everyone. Okay. DNA testing will show you things about yourself that will forever change you, either good or bad. And sometimes it could be bad. And that is an ethical dilemma that the scientific community wants you to know before you go ahead and do the testing. If you are sensitive, you find out something that uh, might change your life forever, good or bad, uh, that's something you need to consider. So read this, pause this video and read this because this is applicable to all DNA testing. So unintended consequences of DNA testing could be simply divorce. Okay. Uh, for example, you could find cases where there is uh, paternity issues with uh, one sibling might find out that they're other sibling is not sharing the same parent. Uh, that has been common enough that it's 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 seen. Uh, I myself has seen uh, one family member who thought she was from my grandfather and ended up not being the case. Uh, but that's that, and that I saw the ramifications of that. It was uh, quite uh, uh, damaging to that person's psyche. So. Just be prepared. And if you feel that you might find things that you might not be comfortable with, or maybe you think it's not a risk you're willing to take, then you should maybe reconsider. So another potential consequence is genetic discrimination. What is genetic discrimination? Well, genetic discrimination is that uh, uh, your employer or a uh, health insurer might find out that you have a genetic disease that may predispose you to an early death, uh, Lou Gehrig's uh, or, or Alzheimer's or other medical conditions that can be debilitating and incapacitating. Uh, but there has been laws that prevent this from happening. It's illegal. Okay. So some people have concerns about this, but there are protections, especially in the United States, where it says there are two laws that came about. There is um, the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2008, which I'll go into in the next slide, and a 2000 executive order that prohibits discrimination in federal employment based on genetic discrimination. And there's also a clause from the 2010 uh, Obamacare or Affordable Care Act. So what is GINA? GINA is the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act. Uh, it's a law that was passed in 2008 by George W. Bush, which prohibits uh, US insurance companies and employers from discriminating on the basis of genetic testing. Now, you don't have to take the test and your employer can't force you to take it. So that's the bottom line. 
So there are protections for the some people online might say, or I have encountered people, oh, the government could get your DNA and they have all these arguments that may sound founded, but um, they're not well founded. And I'll go into that in a moment. So please read this slide, pause it if you need to, and just read up on it. Now, a lot of people have wellness programs at work. Uh, for example, if you maintain a certain weight, you quit smoking, uh, there are bonuses such as they may decrease your insurance premiums up to 30%. Uh, Gina, which is that act that was passed by w, uh, George W. Bush, makes it uh, illegal for employers to force you to take genetic testing. And as a matter of fact, you're not able to get any benefits from genetic testing under the GINA. So this is just important information that I found that I think uh, people should read and be aware. Another major contention is law enforcement. Oh, people can, the government will get your DNA. Oh, you don't want them to get your DNA. The government is evil, boo ha ha. Well, let's look at it first. All right, so there was a law enforcement breach of GEDmatch. That did happen. Look up this New York Times article uh, that I put here. Uh, in July 2019, a detective by the name of Fields asked a judge in Florida, the Ninth uh, Judicial Circuit Court, to get a warrant, and he was able to penetrate GEDmatch. This was concerning to me. Um, for a moment, I've considered dropping out all my uh, DNA uh, samples that I had on GemMatch. I really did consider it, and then I did some reflection, some consultation with the people whose DNA I had on GemMatch. And we agreed that overall, the benefit that we have from using GemMatch far outweighs the risk, okay? I am not a criminal. I have not engaged in illegal activity. I have nothing to hide. So those people who say, oh, law enforcement will penetrate. Well, if you have a family member that committed a crime, then maybe you should not do it. Again, now, law enforcement are using DNA to find murderers, rapists. So do you really want to be protecting those type of people? That's a question that, you know, you have to weigh. And if if you feel that this is risk is too much for you, again, just don't do the test. It's quite simple. Another concern is that GEDmatch was bought out by this company called Verogen. Okay. Verogen is a company, is a forensic company that deals with law enforcement. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna allow law enforcement to look at kits on GEDmatch that have elected, again, let me ref let me emphasize that, elected to allow themselves to be part of the law enforcement database. You have to agree to it. On GEDmatch, it asks you if you want to be uh, allow law enforcement, there's a yes or no option. I have personally selected no uh, because I just feel that if you're going to look up stuff uh, for my family, you need a warrant. Uh, and if so, if something were to happen where a criminal is related to a family member, I want to know before they try to reach out to me. And I don't want to make it easier to prosecute family. Uh, that's just my belief. And yes, I know there people might say, well, it sort of seems that I'm contradicting myself. But, you know, I don't want to be the cause myself of having my DNA on there. Um, to make it easier for law enforcement. There are certain rules and regulations that need to be followed. And I, I would hope that law enforcement will follow those rules before just coming in and checking my DNA without my permission. Okay, now some of you might have heard of arguments, people saying, oh, the government wants your DNA. Well, guess what? The government doesn't need your permission to get your DNA. If you are arrested, 
the government can take your DNA sample and put it in a database, and there's nothing you can do about it. And there was a court case in June 3rd of 2013 where the Supreme Court ruled that this is permissible. Look it up. The case is there. And just for those who are saying, oh, the government can get your DNA, well, the government, if it wants to, doesn't need to use Ancestry or any other genetic testing company. They could go right ahead if you fall uh under arrest or not fall if you are put under arrest they could go ahead and collect your sample just be aware of that again under law enforcement i put in the policy for each of the major dna testing companies i just put three of the five um, because they pretty much uh, sound similar to what they say uh, ancestry's policy and request for user information answers ancestry does not voluntarily cooperate with law enforcement they, they have it in their agreement now law enforcement has tried to penetrate ancestry and ancestry every time has fought them ancestry will share information about a potential uh, person according to the law but will not allow law enforcement to use ancestry services to investigate crimes or to identify human remains it's against their terms of services now you might say well the government can go and penetrate and whatever that's true the government can uh, if they want to uh, uh, penetrate their the security that's a possibility but that's a risk with everything the government always has the possibility of penetrating any form of security um, but that's the nature of our government but according to ancestry terms of service we uh, they do not cooperate with law enforcement so the next slide I have is my heritage they sort of mimic what ancestry says and they say cold case investigations identification of unknown deceased people location of relatives of deceased people using cadaver dna and all similar purposes is strictly prohibited unless a court order is obtained so that our policy is to resist law enforcement inquiries to protect the privacy of our customers so these dna companies are not looking to share with law enforcement uh can it happen that is a possibility and again that's something that you have to make a personal choice, whether to accept that risk or to or obtain benefit from doing the DNA testing. Here's 23 me. Theirs is a little more word wordy. Um, it pretty much shows the same thing. I'm gonna leave this up here so you guys can read it. I'm not gonna really go over it. Um, and they pretty much say that they never, they won't cooperate uh, and if they get a search warrant, unless they're prohibited from doing so, they will contact the user so that you have time to fight it. So they give you an opportunity to go and get a lawyer and fight them in court to prevent them from getting that information. And here's the next uh, slide on their information. Pretty much is the same thing, um, going a little more in detail. And they state that they never have received a request from law enforcement as of yet. So in summary, if you have concerns for your own uh, family or privacy, don't do the test, plain and simple. Now, if you have hit a wall and you wanna learn more about your ethnicity, your heritage, uh, your maternal or paternal lines, I think the, the risk are a lot less than what you would get in benefits. So the benefits far outweigh the risks. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. All right. And uh, I just ask that you guys go on Dino DNA and Genealogy and like our page on Facebook. Or if you haven't, join our group. If you're looking to look for um, your Dino heritage, consider joining our group. Okay. Thank you.